Hello and welcome to episode 78 of our Midlands map. We are at Sunday's Guest Station. It was an easy one. We do have a winner. And I'll be moving in to their signal box very shortly. Uh, it's, a, it's a busy one here at Coventry. I, I mean, I normally wait to tell you what it is, but it, I, I feel it was... Uh, it wasn't worth waiting for. Most of you got it. In fact, a lot of you got it. The, the, the trains look amazing. It is a busy one, for a change. Uh, we had to wait a while, didn't we, on Sunday before a train turned up. This time, they're all here. Wonderful. Uh, there's lots of people waiting still as well, so they are catching dif different services. We'll have a look at where they're going shortly. What are we doing today? Well, we're off from uh, south from Stourbridge Junction. And we're going to put in, hopefully, Hagley... And Blake down. I don't know how close to Kidderminster we'll get. The idea is we're, we're going to extend those Dorridge and uh, Whitlock's End trains that we have running currently up to Stourbridge Junction. Uh, once we get to Kidderminster, we then uh, continue south. Now, Kidderminster, when we get to that, we're going to have the uh, Seven Valley Railway in, so the Heritage Line. Yes, so on with the, on with the show, shall we? Uh, let's have a look. What have we got up here? Okay, it's just that. Uh, I finished off just a little bit of detail, and it, it's not 100% accurate, but it, it does kind of finish off what we've got. Oh, these trains. Train of thought vanished. Yeah, these trains, they've got, they're have got they not all the right colour, are they? Uh, what we need to do is take this. Uh, can we just delete it? There's only two trains on there. Are you better now? Are you not that weird purpley colour? Yeah, the texture didn't work too great when it was coloured. But, I mean, they're about the same colour anyhow, the carriages. What train is that? That, uh... Birmingham to Manchester Piccadilly. Piccadilly? <laughs> that would be cross-country? I want to say cross-country. That seems about right to me. Yes, we'll go with cross country. It's the right colour. Definitely is, because it's heading that way. Yeah, I've done a bit of detailing, not too much. It's it's just putting the finishing touches, really, to Coventry Station. Ready for cab rides. They're on the way. I've put in, uh, I know, it, it, it says Alhorn on it, but <laughs> it, it, it'll do. There's, a, there's a, like a big old signal box building, or it looks like one, uh, on this corner. I mean, we've just put it in. Now, if we go back this way, I will show you the Station Master's house, which is a signal box. And that was Dan B. Congratulations. You you have uh, your second your second station on the map. We are going to move some more people in over the course of the series before it ends. By the time it ends, everybody should be have a place that wants one. So there you go. You, you've got that. It looks a bit better around here. It's starting to be uh, finalised. Now, we're going to quickly check our the ages of our vehicles. We do we do need to change something. I was going to say, I don't think we've got anything. What's interesting is, this is the Leamington to Coventry shuttle and the Coventry to Nuneaton, which is uh, going to be amalgamated into one single line. Given we've got to replace those, Perhaps what we do is take the Coventry to Nuneaton sh shuttle and extend that out after Coventry, which would be here. So Coventry would become the, the middle, right? And that's now going to go through to Kenilworth and Leamington. So what's the best way to do that? If Coventry is going to be the middle, we should start at Leamington. It's a bit of a weird way round at the moment. We'll get rid of that for a second. So we start at Leamington and and head to uh, Nuneaton and then make our way back. So then we go to Kenilworth. We're going to have to be careful at Kenilworth because this track is not real and it will do some silly things <laughs> such as this. And it will attempt this. Actually, I might pause that in case it decides to go on there. And all it does is it moves at about 0 0.1 miles per hour down this line. It, it, it's not good. It's stuck there. Okay, so... After Kenilworth, you want to be going via this waypoint that I put in. And 
Well, that should... I don't know why I put the waypoint in. I could have just forced it to go on the platform. Oh, it's the, the through train. That's what needs the waypoint. Silly me. Yeah, right. Then we're going back to Coventry. And everything should be fine. I'm not sure what platforms they're going to use. It could use this one. Totally happy with it using that. It would get it out of the way. I'm not sure if it's if it's the best option. But it would certainly get it out of the way. We're going to have to do some waypoint business. I'll just hide that for a second. So after Coventry, then it's doing its journey. Then we come back after this Coventry again. And then we head back up to Kenilworth. And that should be the round trip. Except you want to be on P1. There we go. That should stop it from using that. Excellent. We're good then. Now let's go back to Coventry. I, I don't know whether the shuttle's going to do this. It, it doesn't seem right to me, but this is feels like the main line. We might as well use this other platform, right? That's what I'm thinking. It doesn't exist yet, or does it exist now? We'll have to check once they're actually running that service. We'll go, say, Coventry... If we go three, that might work. Yeah, but we've got to do the um, waypoints here. So after Coventry, what you want to really be doing is not what you're currently doing. Can you actually get over there? Oh, no, you can't. No, that bit's right. It's this bit that's wrong. It's uh, after Kenilworth. You want to be going via that signal. There we go. There we go. Yeah, you can't actually get over there. You could if those two were double slip switches. Or if you used this platform instead. You could, you could go around that way. Ooh. Choices. I mean, which way do our trains go on here? Ah, that's a conflict, isn't it? Do you know, now the, the more I look at this, the more I want to uh, shove that over onto P4 for both, both directions. Yes. You know, I kind of do. Get rid of that a second. We'll change Coventry back to P4 down here and get you out of the way. That might work. That absolutely might. I don't know why I got rid of that one though. You still want, you still want this signal. There we go. That might work for us. Yes. Uh, it, it's the only one that's using this outside platform. Is what's the other one using this? Ah, the cross country service also uses that. But then we've got this one's going that way. They're both going this way, and that we've got freight on there as well on p2 do you know what we'll leave it like that and we'll see how it goes they're not that frequent so we should be okay with that then what we'll do is the other line that we have the other shuttle uh, we just this one you are going to be sold hopefully you can be right you're going to go to the, you're going to go to the depot and we're going to delete this line and that should be that. Right. Now we might need to extend our trains. That might not be frequent enough. We'll probably put a third one on. And, and leave it kind of unbalanced. Yes. Let's do that then. Let's uh, let's renew them. Well, actually, we could just throw a loco on there, couldn't we? Where's the nearest depot for us here? The nearest depot for us would be... Would it be rugby? Oh, but then you got to do all the shenanigans to get out from rugby. Uh, I'd rather not. I'd rather not do that. Where else do we have a, a depot? Oh, we could just literally come out of any depot, couldn't we? We could come out of here. That would be fine. You'd make your way because you'd you'd head round and uh, up to Nuneaton. That's actually quite perfect. Okay. All we're going to do here is we're going to by a train as it takes forever to load not surprising i've turned off the end dates look at all our shunters we've got to choose from yeah i've turned off the end dates and which is why you, you'll forever see these which is going to come in useful for heritage lines later on which we're going to put quite a few in now the shuttle obviously not going to be a big train we could choose anything really i i i want to bring the little welsh welsh branch line train in I like it. It's in British Rail. That works for a shuttle. We'll do it. Uh, so we're going to buy you. 
You're not going to be coloured just yet. We're going to set line all. Oh dear. Can we set line? I want you on the Coventry. Can we see it from here? Probably not. I might need to show all lines on this one. Let's try that again. Can we see you now? Coventry, there you are. We're going to put you on there. And then we're going to go and replace vehicles on here. Because they're aged anyhow. Let's go to locomotives and find our little Welsh branch line train again. There we go. It's got the colour. We'll add you on. I don't know whether it does colour. Uh, what's your speed? 50 miles an hour. That works. That works. Wagons. Passengers. Right. We want the Suburbans on there. I know everything's Suburban, isn't it? But it kind of works for us. We could... Ooh, you know, they're just too big, aren't they? They're just too big. We could have some smaller ones. We could go back to the top lights. What are those? 80 miles an hour? No. No. Okay, what we're going to do then is we're going to put the non-corridor, maybe, Suburbans on there. Just a couple. Like that. And a brake car on the rear. That kind of represents our branch line, the poor little train. What, how are you carrying all those? Do that. Replace now. What will happen is our one that's coming out the depot. We're going to take a look at him wherever he is. Our one that's coming out the depot. There he goes. He's already coloured, I think. But uh, yeah, once he gets round to Nuneaton, he'll put some put some coaches on the back. Because he's got replaced now. Where are, where are our shuttle trains? Not on that line. I have lost Coventry. Not easy to do. There we go. Found Coventry. Are you going to change now? That's that's lovely. Yes, I like these. The arena still needs some work. We're, we we are going to finish that. I I and I fi figured out my trick to do this, so we don't need this double fence. So uh, I will I will finish that off and make it not look so strange. Okay, that's what we needed to do there. Just wanted to check up on, on the age. We've got another one here. No, that's going to the depot. Where are you going to? Depot where? Oh, we could look at... Uh, is it lines that shows you depots at the bottom? There, depots. Where is... Where's he heading to? He is heading to... Ah, oh, the fake depot. Well, I mean, it works, doesn't it? Never mind. There you go. Say goodbye to our little tank engine. Brilliant. Right, look at people waiting at Leamington Spa. I said we'll go and take a look at Coventry and see where people are heading. Uh, as the platform's clear. Nope, still plenty of people. Goodness me, they're, they're going all over the place, aren't they? Coventry Arena, Bedworth, Nuneaton, Leamington Spa, Kenilworth. Brilliant. They're already using the... the. Uh, it's not the Coventry, is it? It is more like uh, Leamington Spa to Nuneaton now, isn't it? Yeah, to Nuneaton. There we go. Brilliant. Let me spot to Nuneaton. We've got people on the cross-country train as well. Where are you going? You are going to Birmingham International and one's Coventry. And we have that one where they're heading to uh, Rugby. Lovely. Rugby lovely. Okay, right. Today, what are we doing? We're heading down from, finally, we're going to be heading down from here at, uh, we haven't been here for a while, have we? we we've got our little cutest train. There it, there it goes. Away, away he goes. Our uh, parry people move over there. Yeah, we're, we're heading down here towards, ah, uh, we're right near. Hagley, although it's West Hagley, it should be further down this way. We might be able to represent that. There's West Hagley's kind of further this way. And we do want to swing down and go there. And then we can have Blake down maybe about here. That's far enough distance if we if we do head this way. And then we need to swing around for Kidderminster, where we get uh, a little bit of uh, Seven Valley Rail Railway. Yes, the Heritage Railway. Okay, shall we get going? We've got to make a bit of a cutting. Um, and we're going to have to do this quite sneakily. There, there's an intro. I was looking on the map, and there's an interesting cutting 
that happens. Actually, it looks like we're going to naturally do it on our map. So that works, doesn't it? That's actually quite cool. But how are we going to swing around here? We're going to have to swing around quite aggressively to start with. But I, I think it's because we've got this kink in the track from the depot there. That, that's okay. If we do 50 coming into the into the station, that might work for us. And I'm kind of glad we've got this cutting working for us. Because we do want to be in there. In fact, we might want to head down. We want to stay in this cutting. Uh, in, in that case, I would like us to just gently head down here into the cutting. So we start off with a, a bit of a slope. Now, I don't know whether there is actually a gradient on this. But it looks a little bit like there is on the map. It kind of heads down and there's a, a kind of cool... It's like a brick. Brick-sided not brick, a uh, stone sided cutting, uh, obviously man made. We're going to have to uh, do something with this because you can't be there. The reason I'm letting it play is because we've got to let Worcester grow before we head back there and finish off the detailing there. I'd like to keep going here. Yeah, that, that will kind of work for us, I think. We'll go straight there. It's only a little slope, just a little gentle slope down. I don't mind that. It kind of works. It's looking a bit like it. The station is only... Well, it is in a cutting. But uh, only slightly. I'm going to say cutting a lot today, aren't I? Right, now we need to go straight for a little bit. And we're just going to put a, a couple of basic stations in. And they're not very long either, I've noticed. I measured them on Google Maps and they're only about 100. 23 meters long so probably 125 meters we'll see if we can't get this right in one shot if we can't in the words of orange juice we'll uh, rip it up and start again if we can then we uh, get away with it and continue there is a, a road crossing on one side of the station so we should uh, do that i wanted to make a bit of a, a line here we're gonna have to put the station in it is a little close Oh, um, actually, yeah, that's probably too close. We should still be curving. We're going to still curve then. That's what we're going to do. We're going to still curve. And maybe head down. Oh, no, that's fine. There. No, don't drop your speed. There we go. This will be fine for us. It's, I don't know whether there's any fast trains that actually come around this way. There might be. Now, that's where we're going to have you. Just there. And then you kind of curve back round again. Like I said, it's not going to be a bigger station in the world. So let's let's build us a station. Just a simple one. And we're going to get rid of everything off there. None. 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 There we go. You're not going to have a station building on at all. So we're going to have to choose one of these. I'm going to say that it's on one of the ends. And I want to say right surface. Oh, Yes, for once. Right, there are no coverings on it. We'll have uh, we'll have fences and we'll have them in green. That'll do us. That'll be fine. Platforms. What we actually want is no roof length. There we go. Beautiful. And you're a bit long. We're going to just go with 100 meters for these. I can't remember how long these trains are. Let's have a look, shall we? I can't find one. That's about typical, isn't it? There's one. He's just pulling out now. Is that a big enough station for you? Yes, it is. There we go. Yeah, it looks about right. <laughs> That's how you measure things. Right, we'll put you in there. And I think that will do us for that station. We're obviously going to detail it a bit. Uh, we're going to have the road going across here. Brake lane goes over the top there. And we'll have to get rid of this, this bottom bit. But all right. You've, you've made your choice. AI is like, do you want a road there, sir? I mean, I can help you out if you like. It's in. All right, we're done with that then. Now we need to head down to uh, Blake Down, and Blake Down's slightly different. It, its platforms are not even sizes. Uh, eventually, once we get there, we're going to stay in this cutting. It's only a slight one. It's not. This one is the one that uh, that has the stone sides on. So that's that's good that we're we're quite a way in we can always raise the land if need be now once we get to Blake down we're going to kind of curve this way and then the other way 
and then like head straight in we're going to come around like that like i said we're going to have it a little bit further south is that south yes then it does we've probably gone a bit too aggressive there i was just trying to dodge the houses weren't i don't do that don't do that all right like that and then we'll come around like this instead that's better that's better but keep your speed that's a little more like it happy with that just a little wiggle in there uh, that's the wrong road anyway, so we can get rid of that. Wouldn't mind leaving it up there. Ah, we've come up to ground level, which is actually okay for us. So have you have you been called Hagley correctly? Yes, you have. Look at you go. So we'll, we'll go a little bit further then. Uh, we're going to stay like that. Some of these towns I've obviously got just about right, because I had to manually place each town. Yeah, all 600 of them. You have to manually point them in. And uh, some of them are kind of in the right place. If you're wondering what happens after Blake down, we, we make a hard turn kind of that way and then drop into Kidderminster. Okay, okay. We've got a good distance from this. So let's put in uh, Blake down. Oh, do you know what I didn't do on this one? Quick, before I remember. Before I remember, before I forget. We need to uh, guess what I forgot. Yeah, we need to change the platforms to British platforms. There we go. There we go. Yeah, much better. Love it. I don't know why the platforms are so low in the vanilla game. Is that a, is that a European thing? I don't know. Right, let's change the... Uh, there we go. Now, I would like the, uh, the lengths to be different. Which is not the offset. Can we make the lengths is it possible to make the length different would it be platform variation shortest platform there we go 90 more like 80 i would say looking at the map brilliant uniform i would like you kind of not like that though i'd like you straight one end might have to mess with that in fact 75 we'll go with 75 obviously we're gonna have to make the longest one longer so it'll be more like that there we go that sort of works. It needs to be this way around, though. That sort of works. Uh, what we need to do... Uh, shortest plat... I don't like how this shortest platform... That's not right, is it? No, I was kind of hoping it would go from the end of the platform. But it kind of just does it in the middle. Well, that's a shame. Never mind. Right, what we could do, then, is adjust the offset. I had a... I had a vision... <laughs> not a vision, a thought. <laughs> yep, had a vision. That's exactly what happened there. Uh, right, but you're not going to like that, are you? That That's more like it. That That's pretty much how it goes. But we're probably going to have to knock that one back to make this work. No, you don't like that either, do you? Maybe we bring this one out, do it the other way around then. One of these is going to work. Obviously, you got 50-50 chance. There you go. Now, can we connect you up? Oh, you're beautiful. You're in. There's Blake down. That works for us. Or oh, you're not in. You know what I've got? I said it, well, it's got a, an entrance both sides. So we only have to change this to both. Oh, yes. But we're going to have to delete that first. Apply that. Then put it back in. All right. Then we're, we're heading around this way. This is how we're going to be going. It, it's going to be quite sharp. Not too sharp, though. We might get away with just doing this at a gentle, gentle slope or gentle curve. Y yes. Yeah. Is it raised up, though? I don't know. I don't think so. That might actually work for us. Just not sure whether it's raised up. I wasn't intending to go all the way to uh, Kidderminster. We've still got to do... Um, the platforms here all right let's just put a turn around here for now in case we don't make it and we're going to signal up as well this will extend our our trains that we've got coming in here and we're almost towards the end of the year so we get to see if we get any more trains we don't have any signals past here so we should do that make sure we're not knocking off the roof of the uh of the depot there luckily we're not did i put those one way did not why would you? Oh, I've turned uh, signals off. There we go. Just for a few few frames. It's actually not too bad when you're out here. Look, it's, it's 
it's okay. It's okay. It's acceptable. We might survive until Transport Fever 2. Which would be lovely because I want to... I want to spend a, like a relaxing time towards the end of the series doing all the little detaily bits and playing with trains. Spend all this time doing it. Um, you know, no, we're not going to put over. Oh, we got new buses. We've got new buses and we've got the, the standard class 9F Black Prince and Evening Star. As, w as well as the No Have. I mean, it's not... Not a diesel that we, we're going to have, but uh, yeah, there we go, that's in. And we, we might as well have the Mercedes somewhere doing something. Probably have it similar to a coach. So doing that long run, we've got the X1. Yeah, that would be cool, just to get some different buses on the map. Right, so far so good. Uh, this this crossover is, is not going to be there, so don't worry about that. And this will eventually be be two way can we squeeze in i would i wouldn't mind it just you got like a pixel brilliant okay so we got you in we got you in that's lovely there is a bridge over this side uh however it, it does seem to head up to the bridge as opposed to it being at, at ground level and then these are supposed to head up to the bridge as well i think we might have to improvise a little bit there maybe We'll, we'll figure it out. I just want them to grow back for now. If we don't let them grow back, we're going to have some issues. We we run out of detailing. Okay, don't like you. Or you. So we're so close to uh, Kidderminster here. What's going to happen is we're going to swing into Kidderminster. There's a terminus station, which is the Seven Valley Railway. Just there-ish. Then we're going to have Kidderminster's actual station, which isn't the biggest. And the Seven Valley heads off that way towards the Seven. And the main line for us, which will head down here and have the least view station in in uh, Worcestershire, which is Hartlebury. And then we connect it back up to uh, Droitwich. Talking of which, someone has to move in here. So, a uh, guy called Pi. They, not Pi. Not Pi as in food. As in the number. <laughs> oh, I turned you into something edible. There we go. What trainee? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, this is Droitwich, isn't it? So we got the uh, trains heading all the way into Birmingham from here. People are on board as well. Eight people traveling that way. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Oh, you sound beautiful. Okay, so we've got this up to Blakedown. What we need to do is figure out what trains we've got coming in here. One of these trains, it's this one, I believe. No, that's 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 that one. It would be this one, Kidderminster. Yes, the one that I've called Kidderminster to Whitlock's End. As we did with uh, the Cross City line, we're going to have to do something similar out here. Once we've got Kidderminster in and we've connected up to uh, Droitwich, because that opens up uh, that opens up both of Worcester stations and there are services that do that I don't know how many vehicles is that all we got on three I I'd be interested to see what the uh, times are on that so we start at Stour Bridge Junction which we we're no longer going to do we're going to be heading let's add the stations in we need to add Hagley and uh, take out Stour Bridge and we need to add in Blake down and then you go to Stourbridge. There we go. And then on the way back, after Cradle Heath, you're going to Stourbridge. And then Hagley, right? Yeah, I've done that all sorts of wrong, haven't I? You shouldn't be there. You start off at Blake Down. Then you go to Hagley. That's better. Anybody spot that? Okay, so they're going to start building up, hopefully. They now have trains. We're going to need far more than three. Absolutely. Not too many. What? Let's have a look at the line manager. Frequent Nine minutes isn't bad, is it, for three trains, considering what journey they do. They would go in from Stourbridge all the way down here. Let's hide this. All the way down here through uh, the, the, what was that, the north, north side of uh, New Street into Snow Hill. Then all the way down here 
I mean, you could just cut across, right? Why can't you just cut across? That way. <laughs> I wonder if you could once upon a time. Maybe. So, yeah, that's uh, it's going all the way to Whitlock's End. Now you're going all the way to uh, Blake Down. We're definitely going to need to add a train. What train do we have? The Fowler. That's got to be fairly recent that I put that on. Okay. So, uh, things are happening. I like it. Let's put another Fowler on then. What, what have we got? Fowler and Claire. Oh, yes. They had those uh, lovely old-fashioned coaches on, didn't they? I'd like to keep them on just a little bit longer. We're just going to add a train to it. In fact, we could take them out of here. I keep forgetting about the... I know it's not really used as a depot. It's just used by these to stable the spares up. But uh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna bring one out of here. And uh, locomotives. We want you this purple. And what do we do? What do we got? Yeah, the LMS Fowler. Do do. Where are you? Where are you? Search box would be great. I went to resize it as well. That's another thing you can't do. Maybe we'll be able to do that soon. I'll hunt this down. LMS Fowler. Is it the 2P? Which one is it? 4F. LMS Fowler 4F. 2P. Is the 2P the newer version of the 4F? Do you know what? Maybe we should put the 2P on instead. Yeah, let's up upgrade him, I think. We'll put the uh, this one on. So we'll buy you. We'll put our old-fashioned coaches on there. You do 60. We won't find it there, will we? Passenger. It was... Was it these? Dual tone? No. Oh, it wasn't these. It's, it's these. No, we're going to put some new coaches on you then. Because you, you're quite decent length, aren't you? Well, we've got to remember that we've got 100 metre... I feel like putting blood and custard on these. One, two, three. We can do it. We can do it and put a brake car. Oh, I've just put like three brake cars on there. Yeah, all the braking. We put the BSO on the back. 95 meters, guys. That's going to be our new new trains. So we're going to put you onto the Kidderminster Whitlock's end. That's what they're all going to look like. Uh, we're going to go into replacements and we're going to build that same cons consist again with the 2P. The Fowler, LMS Fowler 2P. You're going to have to wait for the other dude to come out. A parry people mover. Add you on. Wagons, passenger. I just love these uh, Mark 1s. One, two, three. Brake car. Replace now. There we go. And we get to have a look at him once he comes out. Just going to wait for the uh, people mover to go by. And we could hide this for a little bit. It's not the end of the episode. All right, I took the opportunity of uh, waiting for our train to come out to quickly save it so we haven't lost any progress. Looks like uh, on Sunday we'll be heading down to Kidderminster. We've still got to uh, take a look at the Cross City Line. It's been going for a few years now. We want to see which method the AI prefers. And that's what we'll be using once we've hooked up all the way back to Droitwich. There goes the 2P. With its blood and custards on You do look nice. I kind of like that. No, I do like that. You're lovely. And what are you? You Are you the same one? Are you going to be the one that changes and headed, heads off to Hagley now? I don't think so. No, you're not. Which one are you? Oh, you're Stratford-upon-Avon. You might actually terminate there. Yes. Oh, I forgot how nice it was out here. It's lovely. Right, but you can't sit here staring at your trains. Let's, uh, there goes our, our new train. You should be all right for all of these platforms. I think they're all minimum of 100. Pretty sure, yeah, you, you're easy going to fit on there. Lovely. I like it. I like it. We've got four trains running on there now. So the frequency might be a little bit better. Bring your UI up. Look at all the cars. Now, talking of cars, we do have a level crossing, you see, for fans of level crossings. You thought you, thought you were going across, didn't you? No. That's brilliant. We're going to have more level crossings coming as well. 
as w where we're heading, there's there's a few. There's a few out there, you will please to know. I love this level crossing, it's awesome. Um, yes, what was I saying? Cars. What are you doing there? That's not a thing. <laughs> I've never seen... I've never seen them actually go on the uh, track before. Well, we'll leave you there for now, but that's not where you're going to be once I finish detailing that area. Goodness me. So each one of these cars is obviously going to affect frame rate because they have to do pathfinding, etc., rendering, animations. So the more people we can pull into our trains, it's also going to help our frame, frame rate and longevity of the series. So we're going to have to play, play the game, sort of, and uh, put more and more bus services on that will uh, help feed, feed people to our trains and planes. I'm looking forward to doing that and hopefully seeing a bit of improvement on the roads. Although it's not too bad out here. Um, it is busy in places, but it's not too bad, is it really? It's not too bad. It's kind of pleasantly busy. Although it might change as we go through the years. It's certainly going to get busier. Oh, <laughs> yes. Look at that. Look at that. We've got a bit of a traffic issue there. You've got a, you've got a train right there. Everybody get on the train. Let's have a look. Uh, details. You see move preference cheap. I bet it's because it, it doesn't have a bus service out here. Where do you live? Hey. Come on, let's get you again. Uh, you live all by car. And you live in Blackheath. Which is just you're right near the trains. But you go to Tividale. Tividale. Where's that? Just down there. Ah. A uh, little local bus service. There might be one that, that goes that way. I mean, technically, you can sort of get the train. You could go from Blackheath to Upper... Upper... Yes. What is it? Smethwick... Smethwick... Galton Bridge. And then walk down and catch the train to there. You, you said you don't mind. You, uh, mind you, that wouldn't be very cheap, would it? And the other place you work is King's Heath, which is all the way over, goodness me, you drive all the way over here. And what's interesting is we do sort of have connections there. No, we don't. That's the bypass, isn't it? We do not have a connection there. We do have a bus stop there, but we haven't actually hooked anything up, I don't think. Yeah, that we, we don't have anything uh, stopping there just yet. So soon, that will be a possibility. Kings Heath will have a bus service. I really wish we could bookmark people because that would have been a perfect, perfect experiment to see at which point he decided to get on the bus. But we, we've lost him now. We've lost him. I clicked off him. Anyhow, what we're we doing? Yes, X. Uh, I want to replace the X1. Where are you? Is this you? I think this is you. You the X1? Yeah, there we go. Uh, we're going to put a Mercedes-Benz on there. And we'll keep it the same colour. Okay. And we'll replace now. It kind of act acting like a uh, inter intercity coach service. For the X1 there. I don't think that's actually what happens. But uh, we'll take it. In, in comes our plane close i love it i love it it's kind of perfectly placed do we have our mercedes on yeah we do there you go nice big beefy wheels on them aren't they i like that that works as a coach for me carries a few people one of the details on it 40 mile an hour uh, compared to that guy what's the old x1 details so we gained nine miles an hour and uh, we've also gained some capacity right what's the capacity on these uh, these are 26 and these are 30 so we gain four seats and a higher top speed and given the the distance we travel that will be wonderful uh, it's going to take them a while it's going to take them an absolute age isn't it to be all replaced but uh, they will be eventually where he goes. Is it me or is that very quiet? Do these not have any 
sound effects. What's happened to the sound? I'm pretty sure there's sound, right? I'm like trying to listen. I've got headphones on. Yeah, there's sound. They're very quiet. Except for that train. Well, that's a little weird. I thought they had like a nice chuggy sound. Hmm, where's the, where's the trucks? The trucks have a sound. Have I broken my sound? Oh no, these guys sound perfect. I don't know what's going on with that, that bus. Remember our Volvos from the last episode? I do like those. Or I like them. I know a few of you like them in the comments. They are brilliant. There goes our double deckers. Do they have sound? I think they're just all very quiet, aren't they? You can sort of hear the cars going going by. There goes our cross... Yes, cross city line. This is what we're supposed to be doing. I want us to take a look. We just want trains, please. At uh, the cross city line. Are people using them? That's that's what I'm in, interested in seeing. Where's the best place to get an overview of that? Would it be the line manager? That just shows the rate. It doesn't show how how many people are on it. Vehicles? Does it show you how many people are on it? No. Four people on that one. Well, okay. So the cross city line, the Bromsgrove trains seem to be popular. I like that. What about our crazy line here? Are any of our vehicles being used? No. Yes. But where? Where are you? See, that, that's probably being used right now because it's the only train that goes to Redditch. So that's a bad example. We want to know whether they're using them uh, from New Street. So what are people using in New Street? They, they, they seem to be leaning, don't they, towards the whole uh, separate lines here. And they're actually only using the one that goes to... Oh no, there we go. Someone... Oh, everybody's queuing up. So yeah, this this method here, where you split your services up, is a better than just chaining them together. That's what I'm learning from that. Obviously, it might be different further out here. Now, we do have people waiting here. Well, that's not conclusive compared to... Although, look at that one. Yeah, that one had loads of people. Now, I wonder if this depends on where the train is in, in its uh, loop. But they're not really using these, are they? The other ones. Obviously, we, we, well, they're probably not going to use this one very often. But they tend to lean towards these. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll split up the Redditch service the same as we've got here. Except for the uh, night one. So we'll have one that goes to Four, four Oaks, one that goes to Litchfield City. One that goes to Litchfield Trent Valley. Yeah, there we go. That's what we'll do. Um, and that should uh, prove to be a bit better for us. No, see, no, no, they are they are leaning to that, I was going to say. But here, they're all going on this one. I don't know, it's a tough call, it's a tough call. Maybe we've not let it, let it run long enough. I'm half tempted to run a train out to uh, Burton-upon-Trent as well. <laughs> Just run one continuous. Ooh, Transport Fever 2. We'll be able to add this. You know where I forgot to add Shenston. Shenstone. Shenston. We could have added that. Like just plonked it down I bet. Oh I don't know what to do about splitting this up. Because in some places they seem to be using it okay. But this one seems the most popular one. Uh, we'd have to look at the this line manager here. And go to Four Oaks. There. So that's all we see. And then we, I was going to resize the window again. That's not a thing that you can do. Okay, so four oaks, 13 minutes. It's the, It's got the best frequency. That does make sense. Yeah. Uh, that shouldn't be the case, though. I've, I've, I've mathed wrong somewhere. Didn't I say I was going to remove a train from four oaks? But I think what I've done is I've removed one from each, so it slowed these down as well. Yeah, that would explain that, and and yes, okay. This one is 15 minutes. So what we should do, I think, is is take a train off this one. It will make Litchfield City quite regular, or the most regular then, and then they'll all pile on that one. If we look at the rate, that can carry 570 people, 
524, 519, 518. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to get rid of another train off here. Uh, where are you? Probably not one with that many people on. Where are you? You are heading to... Brom You're out in Bromsgrove. Can you, can you go to a depot from there? No. What happens if we flip you? Can you get to a depot now? There we go. Right, so we've cleared him. We've cleared him off. And now he's 20 minutes. Yeah, that's awkward, isn't it? That's awkward. We'll, we'll leave it like that. I think 20 minutes is fine. I think 20 minutes is fine for that. Uh, we'll, we'll see then. It's no longer the, uh, the quickest route. And our trains... See, our trains are no longer getting back to... Oh, yes, they are. Look, there they are. Look, they're, they're in the tunnel. And another one pulling up. That works then. That absolutely works. I would like the longest ones to be the most regular. So that's, that's going to change these timings. And we'll, we'll take another look at that. Yeah, we'll definitely take another look at that. I was pondering <laughs> what to do. But I, I, it, it's not so much for making money or even uh, balancing it out. It's it's for the experiment really and that's it eventually we'll uh we'll 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 come to a compromise somehow i kind of want to get rid of one of these uh yeah i do i really do want to get rid of one of these can you get into a depot there we go so that's 21 minutes that's 20 minutes that puts these two at 15 minutes each i kind of like that yeah i kind of like that we've 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 shuffled things around. It's get, got rid of a couple of trains. We might even be able to get rid of uh, one on the main crazy line. It still really hasn't told us which one they prefer. I don't think it matters. I think they're just 100% going for frequency. So we just need to balance the frequency. And then we'll see, see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Time will tell, quite literally. Look at all the people. Uh, queuing around at our stations in the centre of Birmingham there. That's kind of awesome. I am, I'm going to keep an eye on this situation as well because I don't like them. Look, we've got another one coming up too. Hopefully one of these is going to the depot. What are you doing? I mean, you're not going to the depot. You just, you just queued up there. What about you? You're not going to the depot. Yeah, that's a bit too much queuing for my liking. So removing a couple of trains off there is probably going to serve us okay. Alright, we've done about everything I wanted to do today. It's very busy. But we do have people on our buses as well. And we, we don't have the great... We'd, nowhere near all the bus services we're going to have. There's still a lot of people on the roads. Absolutely is. It's very busy. How are the motorways doing? How many people use the actual... I just saw someone. You're using the motorway. That's brilliant. In your beetle. Where are you going? Are you getting off there? Don't know what junction this is. Can anybody tell? From my work here. There's Hales, Hales Owen. And Bartley Green. So what junction would that be? I'll have to look that up. If no one gets it in the comments, I'll look it up. I don't know, personally. That's what I'm literally asking. <laughs> well, they like this uh, dual carriageway down here. That's kind of cool. I do like that. And they're using this one too. We're going to set up this uh, to deliver into probably, oh, I'm not sure, probably up to Stourbridge or maybe Kidderminster. In fact, Kidderminster, because Kidderminster needs to be much bigger than that. We could have probably had more towns on. Let's go back here. I'm uh, reworking the bridge here. I've took off this bit. It was too high and too bulky. Because I want to put the railings on. I'll show you that once I've done it. Another thing we're going to be doing. Once we've connected here from Kidderminster. We're going to be heading this way. Uh, up to Great Malvern. Which is on the hill. Up here. We do have the hill. And it's going to be our portal to Her Hereford. That way. And we've got two stations we're putting in there. That's also going to be these trains. That we've got now heading down to Blakedown are also going to be heading down to Malvern, Great Malvern. So down here somewhere through the Malvern link. So they'll be going uh, through Droitwich 
And they'll be scooting off through that one that we just put in as someone pulls up. That's brilliant. And he's heading back off to Birmingham New Street. This is our express service. I like that they're using it already. We need to let this grow. It was decimated. Oh, it's already growing, isn't it? That's beautiful. Once we've uh, let that grow a little bit, we can uh, go back to adding the, the rest of the track and I can detail this correctly or near as with the correct roads. Let's go back up to Blake down. Do I want to put Kidderman? Not really. Maybe we should have a little go out here and see if we can get the, the little cut in sorted. I don't know how we're going to do that. If we... Let's see. Let's see. It would be kind of there. If we do that to cut a line and then we raise it up just at the edge like this because that's what it looks like that sort of thing right if we keep raising it up don't don't worry it's not going to look like this at the end I, I think it's actually close than that i think we can just get away with it by raising up right next to the track so if we do that and we raise that up there we might be able to get this uh, like stony stony effect going at the side of the track i've never actually attempted these like via the the scenery normally you just kind of smooth it do you know what i've not done do you know what i've not done official episode Ooh, that that was right at the end all right so we've got this in they're gonna probably wreck the joint with their roads and stuff but this is just an experiment i'm gonna do it we're, we're gonna do it together don't worry that's not how it's gonna look okay now if we uh flatten out on low can we get this to look like the edge i hope so yeah we, it might work we might even be able to use the uh the flattening tool we've got to do that to give it like a, a proper straight edge yes maybe you know it might work it's kind of looking like it right now yeah all right i think i think this is a this is doable definitely doable it's not massive cutting but it is definitely there it's probably a bit too close but uh yeah you know what i might take that all right let's see let's get the uh this tool because it's definitely not like brick or anything it looks like uh stone the tool we need is this one i think would that if we give that uh a straight edge sort of thing slope 90 percent. is that the one no you want is it 100 percent? 300 no that's getting worse zero edge slope that's the one not not that one uh that's worse 100 there we go if we give that like a straight edge there i would like it to be level with this bit can we do it how's that look oh do you know that works doesn't it that absolutely works give it a straight edge like that i mean i'm not gonna sit here doing all of it it does kind of work for us we could make it smaller and stuff anyhow all undone we'll we'll figure out a way to do that because it would be nice to get it in and we'll make it look beautiful let's go and find somewhere to sit shall we probably at uh Stourbridge junction I think it's 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 kind of busy. We've got nice new trains. We're always going to see the people parry mover. We're going to sit near these benches here. That has been episode uh, 78, I believe. Yeah, 78. Bit of a failed attempt at doing the cutting there between Stourbridge Junction and Hagley. But I am not I'm not defeated just yet. We're, we're going to give that another go. Or I'm going to I'm going to ponder it and I'll, I'll take a look at the comments. See if anybody has any ideas or indeed if there's a mod as well that could achieve it that's on the workshop. We could just cheese it eventually and put like wall in there. But uh, if we can get away with making it look half decent, I wouldn't mind. All right, guys, I'll, I'll leave you with a bit of Stabridge Junction and until next time, take care.